Here's Greg D now. And uh, do a big event happening in our night skies overnight. It's a total lunar eclipse and the weather should be amazing to view it. So here is what to expect. Uh, a total lunar eclipse happens when the Earth gets between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on the moon, uh, obscuring it. Now, some light is still bent by the Earth's atmosphere down toward the lunar surface. So instead of disappearing in the shadow, it appears a burnt orange color. Now, the moon will start to enter the Earth's shadow late this evening, 1157. These are times for Tampa, by the way, but they work for the entire United States. You just got to adjust them for the appropriate time zone. Unlike a solar eclipse, anyone that can see the moon in North America tonight will be able to see this. Totality starts at 226 in the morning. That's Friday morning, and the moon is going to spend about an hour in the Earth's shadow. So you've got plenty of time to go and take a look at this, take your pictures, bring a telescope, wake up the kids in the middle of the night and drag them out there to see it. Uh, maximum eclipse happens at uh, 258 Friday. Totality doesn't end until 331 in the morning Friday, and the moon moon will finally fully exit the Earth's shadow at six o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So this is a long duration event. You've got a good opportunity to view it when the moon is completely in the Earth's shadow. That's what it'll appear like that bright, that dark blood red color. Really, really cool to photograph. If you get a photo of it, if you've got a good camera with the zoom lens, please send it to me uh, at Greg D weather over on uh, Instagram 